Let's see the recent maritime accidents. Vienna, a bulk carrier aided by tugs, battles a heavy storm in the North Sea, Germany. Vienna, a bulk carrier in ballast, was waiting for orders in Cuxhaven slash Wilhelmshaven, Germany's outer anchorage. The ship hauled up anchor considerably ahead of schedule to face the storm while still on the move. Tugs allegedly reacted on January 29th and 30th, assisting the bulk ship in avoiding onshore drift. In China, a senior officer from Cape Size was murdered as a result of the zero COVID policy. On January 29th, the captain of the German Cape Size bulk ship Matilda Oldenerf sadly perished in Tianjin, China. He had to use a pilot ladder to measure the ship's draft from the berth ship's shore side. Positive tests and a blackout plagued the MSC Rebecca container ship at Xinjiang. The MSC Rebecca landed in Xinjiang on January 24, and two crew members tested positive on January 25. In the morning of January 27, the ship finished cargo operations and made sail towards Manila. Manila isn't in the service schedule, thus the call is either due to a positive test accident or a crew change. CSL Santa Maria, a cargo ship, is towed out of Japan Sea. On the night of Jan 30 in the Japan Sea, Maria's generator failed, and she became weak. As the ship approached the island's northern coast, it was forced to anchor five cables off the coast. She's sailing from Los Angeles to Ningba, carrying almost 2,000 containers, the majority of which are empty. Akvana, a crabber, sunk at a dock in Zarubino, Russia's far east. The Akvana crabber sunk beside a dock in Zarubino port, Primorye, Russia, in the Japan Sea. Although 14 of the 15 crew members are unharmed, the chief engineer perished tragically. Following a large water invasion, Master is in the hospital with hypothermia. The captain of the APL England is facing charges of operating an unfit vessel. In connection with the cargo leak, the skipper of the APL England is facing prosecution. Malaysian native Mohamed Zulkali bin Alias is now on bail in Malaysia, awaiting a trial date. The ship was overcrowded as it traveled from Ningba, China, to Melbourne, Australia. The oil ship Mare Doricum has sunk for the second time off the coast of Peru. The Repsol-owned La Pampilla oil refinery has been accused of leaking eight barrels of oil near Peru's ocean coast. This is the same refinery responsible for the 6,000-barrel disaster from the ship Mare Doricum earlier this month. In the Dardanelles, the bulk carrier Panther Max has been crippled. While ballasting from Egypt to Kornomorsk, Ukraine, the bulk carrier Panther Max had an engine failure in the Dardanelles. The ship remained in the same place off the coast of Chinakale at 17.30 UK on February 2. A ground container ship Mumbai Mares, which was refloated on February 4. SAR Newark, offshore tug Union Sovereign, and six helping tugs refloated the ship at midnight on February 4. As of 0315 UK, the caravan was slowly traveling north most likely to an outside harbor where the large ship would be anchored for an underwater survey. In Delta State, Nigeria, the FPSO Trinity Spirit sunk following an explosion. The Yukokiti Terminal at Scravos, Wari Southwest, Delta State, Nigeria, exploded and sank an FPSO vessel. Ten personnel were on board the facility, according to the early information, seven of them are missing and three injuries are expected. In Antarctica, the Russian research ship Professor Logachev ran aground. In Mosair Bay, King George Island, South Shetland Islands, Antarctica, the Russian research vessel Professor Logachev ran aground. Argentina Navy icebreaker and research ship Arabaya Agradable assisted in refloating the ship. Grounding of the product tanker Tresta Star, reunion on February 4. The tanker Tresta Star, which had 11 crew members on board, went aground on Reunion's eastern shore. Cyclone Batsurai slammed a tanker aground, flooding the region. That it's too early to judge if it'll be a total loss. Taiwanese tanker Torm Emily has been damaged and is seriously listed. The tanker Torm Emily collided with the southern breakwater embankment of Kashan Port, Taiwan. Water infiltration and a strong starboard list resulted from a hull break, which was discovered in the ballast tanks area. The tanker is transporting naphtha, and no leaks have been detected. The Russian chief officer of the bulk carrier NC Ega perished after falling into the sea while inspecting the draft. At Taman Port in Russia, the chief officer of the bulk carrier NC Ega fell into the sea from a pilot ladder while attempting to read draft marks. 
He was rescued 45 minutes later, but neither crew nor port paramedic could revive him. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, drop it in comment section. Subscribe to Marin Aura for more updates.